Hi, this is Devin Kearns from Smono Inc. Today we're going to be talking about Mail 8625, anodizing spec, and what the different types, what the different classes are, and what they mean uh, for you. So to start with, type 2 is probably the most common type of anodizing. This is your standard clear coat anodize. And how this is done is it's typically anodized at warmer temperatures, usually around 50 to 60 degrees. Now, some of the interesting features about this type of anodize is it actually creates a pore structure that's a lot larger than type three. And as a result, it's much better for dye applications because it's gonna accept that dye much more readily. Now, the thickness for these is usually half a mil to a mil thick. Um, usually when you get higher than that, the um, dye does not then accept quite as readily. And it's, this is mostly used for cosmetic applications due to the low hardness and due to the fact that it's a pretty thin coating compared to type 3, which we'll cover next. So as I said, type 3 is significantly harder than type 2. It's more of a functional uh, usage as far as its properties goes. And you'll typically see this for engineering or outdoor applications. Now, depending on what temperature this is run at, if it's done properly, it's going to appear black, though sometimes it'll appear gray, uh, depending on the alloy. This is, of course, just standard 6061 will be uh, true black, um, 7075, more on the gray side. Now, this, like I said, does not accept dye as well as type 2, but it does dye black well, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise especially 6061, which is already a truer tone of black. Uh, the black here will just enhance that darkness versus if you try to dye something more like 7075 or 5052, basically your mileage may vary even on the black coat. Now this is a lot thicker. This is typically two to three mils all the way up to five potentially if you get some, uh, some specific alloys like 5052. So now that you know the differences between the types, uh, we'll now cover the classes. So classes is just more of a determination if dye is going to be used or not. So if class one is your standard, there's going to be no dye required at all. Um, like I said, this is going to appear black if type three or uh, more of that silver clear color if it's type two. And this is typically sealed in boiling DI water and less contamination is usually present. Class 2, of course, is the opposite of that. That's going to be the part is dyed. Usually there's going to be a specification on what, what color that's going to be. Um, typically, nickel acetate is going to be used to lock in that uh, dye. So as far as Samano goes, uh, we offer both type 2 and type 3. For class 1, we use the boiling DI water seal. And um, for class 2, we're going to be offering the black and gold dye, and of course with that uh, nickel acetate seal uh, corresponding with that. So that's all for mil 8625. We'll be covering the other specs we have in some future videos. Thanks for watching.